This is the Run and Tell podcast. You know, and I do think apologetics can help. I'm a big apologetics guy, but I know it's not the thing. Mm. You know, for me, God didn't use that to get me there. But since then, I've come to see through Bible apologetics. And if you're not unfamiliar with that term, it doesn't mean apologizing like saying sorry for the Bible. It means it means giving a reasoned answer that it really is reasonable. I never would have thought that in my atheistic um, worldview prior, but it's eminently reasonable to me. And um, if you look into it, that can help. You know, my my mom, um, who recently passed away, um, her sister's husband also, he, he passed away um, shortly before she did. Uh, he was this guy, you're going to have to show me through science. And um, because my mom, she's from Canada, she would go out there and visit. She'd always be witnessing and uh, preaching the gospel to my cousins. And my aunt became a believer. And um, But my uncle was this, this holdout. He's this like award-winning um, engineer, structural engineer, who would be like called to be the witnesses and like building collapse and like, you know, to be the expert witness. And he was just like super genius guy. And my mom's literally like no science knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> it's the impossible, yeah. you know, you're going to have to win me through science. She's asking me, son, can you help? I gave him some gave her some book to take, you know, she, she would go back there every, every year or two and spend a, a few weeks out there at least. And, um, so this last time was that last eclipse. And, oh, okay. um, so, and I've literally heard this preached this way, but somehow God just gave it to my mom. If there's any atheists out there watching this, you're like, okay, God did this. God did that. They probably get mad at hearing that, <laughs> but I've got to tell you, my mom, I was an extremely simple, wonderful lady, no science, just not a science person. And so she said to my uncle, isn't it amazing how God made the moon just the right size and just the right distance to cover the whole sun? And that was it. <laughs> and then it makes for a perfect eclipse and the scientists can learn all that stuff. That kind of statement. I didn't, you know, those are the words. He's re recapping it yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. And that was a huge thing to him. <laughs> he never really considered that. And if you dig deep into that, they literally, you know, they use that to confirm Einsteinian physics, you know, the way the light, whatever happens during the eclipse. And so it's it's pretty profound. I've never considered that. I know. As That's hitting me like a ton yeah. of bricks right now. Yeah. I just picture your uncle just like, Staring at the eclipse. Oh shoot! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like just tripped so, out staring so, at it. And so that and that opened him up to read my testimony blog. My, mm. um, I think it's. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Um, That's right. From, it'll be right here. From atheism to Christianity. <laughs> dot blogspot. Dot com. This is the run. It I can't. Now I can't do it.